Hi guys and dolls, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Welcome to the video that was way more time out of my life than I initially planned. Uh, <laughs> before we get started, roll those credits. Okay, so as you can see, we have today a pirate ship. This pirate ship is from printablescenery.com. Um, those guys do some astonishing work. So a lot of what they do are meant to be um, actual play spaces, um, which is what this is supposed to be, a 28mm reference frame um, or 28 millimeter, sorry, reference frame for um, for doing uh, a miniature play space. It's quite big. So let's go over a few component parts here. So this bottom, the actual the actual main section, prints in three pieces, right? So it prints in a in a rear section, a middle section and a front section here and then this rear section prints in two halves a top and a bottom um this actually wasn't that hard to print it came out lovely it's got some really nice texture to it because obviously it's all wood so um so it it, it, it really lended itself to fdm printing um we will do a 360 in a moment of it um, one of the things that I really think sets this apart is the is the rigging. So I actually used um, this is like a uh, it's like an elastic um, it's like an elastic thread, and I found that it worked way way better than than string. So I did try I did try originally using black string. The problem I was getting is that to get the tension that I wanted to have all of this in the right sort of place. Um, it was pulling on all of the dowels. So there's a lot of wooden dowels. All the masts are wooden dowels. They're not printed. Um, these section pieces here, these are the accent pieces and the caps and everything. They are printed, but the actual shafts, they're all, they're all wooden dowels. Um, I, I just, I really love the way that the rigging actually looks. Um, the detail that they went into with this is a bunch of sort of deck detritus that you can uh, that you can print as well the anchors and everything um you'll have a look in the 360 in a minute but the way this is done this i think is called the black ship um and the way this one is done they've um, they've made it like a metal front hull um and then sort of this nice sort of jack sparrow black pearl-esque piratey ship at the back um and i just love it i love the way that it's this sort of like gothic um mixed with sort of mixed with sort of imperial kind of um kind of ship work and it and it really really nice um the problem i had with it mainly was just that for the most part it's all wood so picking out details in this having it that it had the front um having the front as uh, as a as as metal made the ship for me because otherwise this was all wood and it didn't look great it it it, it would have looked really plain and really boring but there's cannons on the decks and there's there's cannons in the hull and there's these big ballistas that go on it as well and the anchor and things like that just the way this whole thing came together I just, I just really enjoyed doing it. It was something completely different to stuff that we'd done in the past. Um, we've really not done a lot of vehicles um, before. Uh, we've sort of, I did the, obviously I did the, I did the big Terran battle cruiser and Mike did the war rig, but even the Star Wars stuff, I would say is very different to this. Um, with a lot of things like that, you have a reference of how it's supposed to look. 
you have a reference of the color palettes of that that's imperial gray and that the you know that the that the uh that the x wing fighter we did is a you know is is black and orange or that the war rig is all black with sand and rust you know you you know what those things are supposed to look like this one this one was a bit different because this one was me able to just decide how I wanted it to look. I got to choose the colour palette. I got to decide whether this was going to be a bright ship or a dark ship, whether I was going to have black, thick, sort of tar-soaked wood, or whether I was going to have just plain regular planks, you know, whether I was going to do pick out all the ironmongery or whether I was going to do that differently or whatever. And it was a rare occasion that uh, sort of our imaginations were able to go a little bit, uh, a little bit out of the, out of the norm for us. <clears throat> and I really enjoyed doing it. Um, you know, it was a lot of fun. Uh, it was challenging for sure. It was definitely a lot different to the stuff that we normally do. Um, but I've really enjoyed it. It's large, as you can clearly see. So this is um, a meter long. And, uh, and a meter tall. Uh, that's that's post to post and and bottom to to, to top of the mast. Uh, it's it's three hundred and fifty four millimeters wide. That's because you've got these sort of these big pieces right here that sort of pull it out a little bit more. Um, I'll be honest and say that if you were actually doing a play space. It's big. You'd have to have a big play space to do this. Um, I did scale this up from the original principal scenery. No real surprise there. Um, I think I went to 150% in the end, which made getting my dowels quite tricky because I had to work out 150% of the original dowels and then make sure they all fit and stuff. Um, but again, I'm, I'm really happy with how this came out. Um, I hope you guys like it. Uh, we'll put a link in the video description as to where you can go and buy this. And uh, yeah, we'll give you a quick 360 degree view of this and see what you think. Thanks for watching, guys.